Hello Aquarians, welcome to your horoscope for March 2023. This is an exciting month. Um, you've got um, me as a fellow Aquarian, we're very happy for this month. We finally have uh, Saturn moving out of our sign, going into Pisces. So we've had two and a half or about three years of um, Saturn being hitting everyone's sun. It's in Aquarius, it hits me right at the end. Finally this month it's moving on. Which is very good. So Saturn's I always say Saturn's the planet of problems. Other other astrologers say that it teaches you things. I just say it really just causes you problems. Um, so finally, it's moving out of our sign. So on a third, we have Mercury, which is going to go in the second house. This is about um, earnings. So this is good for me getting a promotion, um, looking at new contracts, thinking about you know where you're going to move in terms of your career. Um, earning prospects, even like affecting like self worth, thinking about how much you value yourself, perhaps too. Then on the eighth is when the Saturn goes from your sign, it goes into Pisces. This will also be the second house. Um, this will be the earnings. So during this time, and I'm when I do these charts, it's more about as a general overview. Your own personal chart will be very different. So the Saturn in the second is about the earnings. So there can be issues that are coming up. It doesn't always fix straight away. It does take um, a, it can take a while for it to, to for things to happen. It's like it slowly like it builds up little by little. And then on the seventeenth of March, Venus goes into your fourth house. This could be a good time to redecorate the home, make improvements. Um, this could even be time to sort of even like look at the finances, maybe mortgaging, getting a mortgage, or looking at how to um, even finding ways to improve the home, making it look very pretty as well. Also, getting along better with people within the home. Um, this and then we've got then we could be bringing money in the home as well because Venus is love and money. Could be time good time to sell as well. On the twentieth, we've got Mercury leaving um leaving that second going to the third which is more about your siblings so communications improving with sisters and brothers 24th pluto will go into your first house for three months then we'll go back into capricorn um, and then next year goes into your first house again for 20 years it's going to be a transformation so this can be a bit of a big transformation those who are in the beginning of aquarians and also perhaps ending of capricorn you will you will find that you will um, feel this energy the most and with this energy can bring it over the next couple of years, even this year or next year it can bring some sort of ending in place because pluto does reveal does it does have some sort of endings there with it and new beginnings as well and then on 26 Mars into your sixth house, this can be when maybe you're more motivated to get healthy, look at to, um, what you're eating. This also could be hiccups with health because um, I would say Mars is a double-edged sword. It's that strength, but also it can be like frustrations as well because it is ruled by the god of um, war. When I look at the cards here, Aquarians, I do feel like there's some new beginnings, like a new door is opening up and you're quite happy to take that chance. There's also something about you could be covering something up, but I feel like you would get away with it. Something about you're trying to cover up something, but it's like it's a job well done. You do get away with it, and it's hard work, but you're showcasing your work. But it could be like good work, you're doing a good job, but also I feel like there's an aspect of covering something up, but I feel like if you did, you get away with it this month. Because there's also this cheeky smile um, that you'll feel like you're, you're coming into your own now. You're like you're coming back in a good way um you felt like you've been behind the wheel or been a bit behind but now you're moving forward to where you need to go i do feel like with your work things are getting better for you i feel like you got your choosing of what you're wanting to do where you're wanting to go there could be multiple job offers coming up for you this month i just feel like you're in your element you're really like everything's shining on you brightly to do a good job and I just feel like there is a reward here and it's all eyes looking at you for the reward in what's coming up. I do feel like it's going to be quite a good, even could be a celebration coming up here to do with your work or your career too. And even your self-worth, I feel like it's going to have a big, a big boost this month for you too. When we look at relationships. It could be... 
an element here of love finding you this month it's like a recap but it's also a sense of maybe something like trying not being scared of losing something or moving or someone moving a more away um having that sense of um more distance between you there is a thing but there's also this cheekiness about you this month with the relationship and you're like it's like struggling the iron's hot as well and it's kind of like you don't know if this person maybe is telling the truth or there's something suspicious about a certain person around you but i just feel like that there is also an aspect of love finding you this month and you are able to really go and um and have fun with the energies that are here like it's like a playful energy, energy coming up in relationships for you here Aquarians. i do feel like with friends you are the, the leader this month with your friends you are the one that's sort of saying where to do what to go where to go everyone's sort of following you i just feel like you've got your in control like you i just feel like this month you're going to be back in a big way when i look at the family You are being very caring, so you might be spending more time with children or being a nurturer, looking after children as well, babies. Um, you might have to show them a lot of like, your wisdom and a lot of um, knowledge that you do have. It is about, I feel like also about being grounded with your family this month as well. When we're looking at money, I kind of feel like, what's that saying, don't keep your eggs in one basket, but I feel like we are this month, you are putting your eggs in one basket, you're tightly hanging on to something and not letting it, letting it go. I do feel like we're seeing your finances blossom more and now they are improving and they are expanding. Um, with in terms of travel, I do see plane travel for you because it's coming up or I've been planning a trip of some sort of plane travel. I do see somewhere hot like perhaps like Hawaii or some sort of tropical island coming up here on the cards for your Aquarians. I feel like it's time that you guys let loose a little bit don't let the temper get the better of you this month i feel like you'll do better to just be more relaxed and take things as they are but as i said i do feel like there's something that you're getting away with this month too um so knowledge is the key and the power for you also this month but there's something like about even good health like you're very happy with yourself and very happy with things improving around you a lot of abundance things coming up here aquarians um for you for this month let me just even get a channel for you guys aquarians this is a beautiful month for you where you're all going to shine it's like rise and shine for magical day but this will be a magical month for you there are a lot of positive things ahead and this month is going to see you through to even october where the energies are still going to be there for you for you all to be able to thrive and see your spiritual gifts evolve and form you're also going to see money grow it's like money will grow on trees for you it is going to blossom for you well you are here in a stronger way than ever before saturn has taught you lessons but also caused you strength but also has pulled you back and pulled you back from where you were back in 2017 now you are here in a big way and you're moving forward making making positive changes and moving right ahead so um thank you for your likes shares and your comments and i will see you in um i'll see you in the next my next video so bye for now